The rivalry between the United States and China has been steadily intensifying, resembling a high-stakes competition on multiple fronts. One of the most critical battlegrounds in this rivalry revolves around something you might not think about often. Chips, or as they're technically known, semiconductors. These unassuming slivers of silicon are the unsung heroes, powering virtually every gadget and device in our modern lives. Here's where the tension really kicks in. America happens to be the reigning champ when it comes to the global chip market. It controls the supply of the most advanced chips, the ones that make our devices supercharged. Now, China wants in on this game, but there's a major roadblock. The U.S. has laid down some pretty strict rules and restrictions on who can get their hands on these coveted chips, and they've even thrown some hefty sanctions into the mix. But as they say, necessity is the mother of invention, and China is nothing if not inventive. They've been diligently searching for loopholes in the sanctions, and they've found some interesting ones. Case in point, Huawei, China's tech giant and a global leader in 5G technology, managed to do something remarkable despite these restrictions. They unveiled a new smartphone, the Mate 60 Pro, which was the talk of the tech town. However, the real buzz was when some tech enthusiasts decided to crack open this sleek device. What they discovered inside was nothing short of revolutionary, a highly advanced chip that could rival the latest offerings from Apple's iPhones. This chip was a breakthrough in its own right and supported cutting-edge 5G technology, which is at the forefront of the mobile communications world. Now, you might be wondering how this is possible given the sanctions that were supposed to prevent China from accessing such advanced technology. Well, here's where it gets interesting. This new chip was produced by the Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, a Chinese chip manufacturer that receives partial funding from the government in Beijing. The phone, the Mate 60 Pro, runs on SMIX chip, which experts have dubbed the Kirin 9000 SA. It's on par with the latest iPhones in terms of speed and capabilities. Crafting such an advanced chip is like creating a microscopic masterpiece. Picture a canvas as small as your fingernail, and you need to populate it with a billion tiny paintings so minuscule that they're nearly invisible to the naked eye. These tiny paintings are the transistors, which function like tiny switches. When you open a video on your computer or access an app on your phone, these minuscule transistors work together to make it all happen. This process is called extreme ultraviolet lithography, EUV for short, and it's extraordinarily complex and precise. So you might be wondering how did China pull this off? How did they manage to create their own advanced chip despite the sanctions and restrictions? Well, we don't have a definitive answer, but there are some intriguing theories floating around. It's believed that this chip was made using state-of-the-art European techniques, meaning European tools might have been used in its production. However, it's highly unlikely that Europe supplied this technology to China, as the transfer of such technology is also restricted. So how did Beijing acquire it? There are two possibilities on the table. One is that China procured these tools before the restrictions came into force. The other, more controversial possibility, is that they obtained them through less than legal means, possibly involving espionage or theft. Neither option can be ruled out entirely. Before these sanctions were fully in effect, China made substantial purchases of semiconductors, so there's a chance they're using chips from an old stockpile. However, Recent reports have revealed that Huawei has been quietly building a secret manufacturing network, including the acquisition of chip-making plants. But here's the kicker. Huawei's true intentions seem to be centered around acquiring chip-making equipment, rather than relying solely on purchased chips. They've been incredibly secretive about all of this. Huawei has concealed the fact that it owns these plants, likely to evade Western sanctions. Furthermore, the company is evidently receiving substantial support from Beijing, including significant state funding. China has reportedly provided Huawei with around $30 billion, and the purpose of these funds is clear, to expand chip production, a top priority for Beijing. China is taking this endeavor very seriously. They're even launching a new state-backed investment fund with the aim of raising $40 billion to inject into chip making. Now you might be wondering where all this money is coming from. Well, the Chinese state is chipping in a significant portion, around 60 billion yen yuan, which translates to more than $8 billion. As for the rest, that's still a bit of a mystery. But what's certain is that Chinese President Xi Jinping is fully committed to this project. Xi Jinping has a strong vision for China's technological future. He's been pushing for self-reliance in technology, and he's doing so 
with an unwavering determination. He believes that semiconductors are as vital to a country as the heart is to a human body. In fact, there's a quote from President Xi in 2018 that illustrates his commitment. He told executives from a chip making company, when your heart is not strong, no matter how big you are, you're not really strong. This statement underscores the importance of semiconductor technology in the eyes of China's leadership. This competition in the semiconductor industry is not just about economic dominance. It's about technological sovereignty and the ability to shape the future of innovation. As China strives to close the gap with the United States and chip technology, it's clear that both nations are engaged in a high-stakes race. And the outcome will have far-reaching implications for the global tech landscape. In summary, the rivalry between the United States and China in the semiconductor industry is heating up with China aggressively pursuing ways to bridge the technological gap despite U.S. sanctions and restrictions. This race for technological supremacy underscores the importance of chips, these tiny but powerful components that drive our digital worlds.